How's it going ladies and gentlemen, my name is Monero and welcome to a very special channel first of Minecraft. So some of you might have been expecting this, some of you probably completely out of the blue, some of you probably don't care. <laughs> but um, the thing is, you know, I put off doing Minecraft for a while on my channel because I've talked about it in the past with a few of you guys that once you start putting Minecraft up, people are like, that's all they expect from you and you become like a Minecraft channel. And the thing is, this is a variety let's play channel and that's what I do, variety of games. That being said, I absolutely love Minecraft and I honestly don't get to play it enough because of all the stuff I'm doing on my channel. So I was trying to find a way that I could play Minecraft for my channel, have it fit the channel, have it as a series and I came up with a few ideas and what I think we're going to do for this series is we're going to do a modded survival series. So what I've decided on is we're going to add some mods to the game that change the environment and world enough to make it feel fresh and new and it's not like vanilla standard kind of Minecraft without distracting us from our goal. And our end goal is going to pick to be to kill the Ender Dragon, because I've never actually killed the Ender Dragon, so I figured that is a good end goal for this first, I guess you could say, kind of, you know, series or season of Minecraft. Um, and we'll see how it goes. So before we get started, I'll just get into what the mods we are going to be using that'll change the world a little bit, but won't distract us from getting to that Ender Dragon and taking him down. So the first mod that we're going to be using today is Biomes are plenty. So in standard Minecraft, and if you play Minecraft, you know that the different area types are referred to as biomes. And that just describes like, you know, jungle biome, mushroom biome, tundra biome, things like that. And in standard Minecraft, there's 12 different types of biomes. Well, biomes are plenty, says fuck that, and increases the number to 70. So that is a lot of different variation in the world. And so that's basically what we're doing. We're making the world more varied, changing the layout of it a lot, and just making it hopefully a bit more interesting. The second mod that we are going to be using to continue this kind of theme of adding to the world, giving it a bit more life and flavour without distracting us, is Mole Creatures. So Mole Creatures is a mod that, uh, you can probably tell by the name, adds a whole plethora of new creatures to the game. You have so many new creatures, it gives you, you know, there's fish and bears and even ants that steal your food if you drop food on the ground. Um, so it's just going to breathe a whole lot of life into the game and that's really what we're going with with the mods we're going to add for this first kind of series that we're doing. So the next mod that we're going to be using is Millionaire, and the Millionaire mod basically adds a whole bunch of new settlements and NPC. So in normal Minecraft, you generally will come across like the one type of settlement. And this basically adds a heap of different settlements and things like that. Most of them are influenced off, well I think all of them actually might be influenced from different culture types throughout history. So you have some that will be influenced by Mayan culture and some that might be influenced by Japanese culture and things like that. You can also get like small quests to do for each of the villages if you come across one. And again, like I said, it's following that theme of just adding more life to the world and um, giving, putting stuff in the world to make it a, a bit more lively and pretty much you know, have more things to do without distracting us too much. Alright, so we're actually using another mod as well, but I'll show you it once we get in game. Let's start up a new game. Uh, single player, create new world, we're on survival. Yep, uh, what are we going to call it? You know, since we're starting a new world, I'm just trying to think, what the hell we should we call it? C -c -c call it. Uh, we'll call it... Monero's Journey. Because that's what we're going on. We're going on a journey. So let's do it. Uh, create new world. Okay, so we spawned in the water. Whoa, that is a mammoth. Holy shit. So he spawned in the water, apparently. And there is mammoth roaming around. And that looks like a saber tooth. Because uh, I'm guessing we're in the tundra type biome. Okay, this is weird. It's like... Alright, shut up, you. Okay, so it wasn't a jump. What is that thing? That's creepy. It wasn't a jungle biome, but uh, no, this will do. There's plenty of wood around and things like that. Um, okay, you want something? Whoa, whoa, are you aggressive? Are you angry? Are we friends? I don't know. So, as I said, um, oh, if you're wondering what texture pack I'm using, I'm using the Sfax texture pack, because I really like it. And considering I thought, since we're going on a brand new adventure, I decided we can be Finn, because it's adventure time. Now, you're probably looking at my menu and going, what is all this on the side? This is the other mod that we are using. It is called Not Enough Items. It works just like Too Many Items, if you've heard of that. That's a really popular one. Um, and it has different settings. I'll go down here. Basically, it has different modes. There's utility mode. 
I have no idea what that is. There's cheat mode, which is like creative where you can give yourself items. We're going to put on recipe mode and recipe mode basically means that I can go through the list and be like, okay, well, you know, what have we got here? What's this? What's all this stuff? Or oh, how do we make a gold chest plate? And it shows you the recipe and how to make it. You can even click on the gold ingots and it'll show you other things and then the gold block. And so it just helps because I have a terrible memory at remembering to craft things. It really helps with that. What is with all these bloody... Hello, mammoth. All right, so since it's day one, these mammoths are distracting me. I guess we better get some wood, make ourselves a crafting table, some tools. We got some... Will you shut up, please, mammoth? Bastards, making so much noise. So, yeah, we'll just get ourselves some wood and things like that. I can hear a lot of other creatures around. And we'll make ourselves a crafting table, then we can make ourselves some tools. Mammoth? What did I tell you? Don't make me come over there. Alright, so, we'll get some more wood. We only got six blocks at the moment. Um, boo -boo -boo. We'll see what we can make. The trees look cool. Well, this is a new looking area for me at least. I haven't really seen tree types that look like this before. So this should be really interesting. Alright. So we can start our journey for reals. Yeah, yeah. So I know you've, a lot of you guys have been asking whether I play Minecraft or not. And as I said, the thing is I do play Minecraft. I love Minecraft. And I did want to do a series on it. And this is what I've decided on. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. We got sheep over there. So we got food. We got wool. That'll be good for when we need to make a bed. Because that's the one thing I hate is when you spawn in an area and you have no sheep. And you've got to travel for ages. Then you've you got no bed. You, what the hell have I picked up? Spruce sapling, okay. So I don't know what spruce wood really is. Uh, it would be interesting to see how this texture pack works too, because it's not actually designed for the these mods. So I assume if it's not designed for these mods, it'll just use the default ones. Who knows? Uh, there'll also be a download link to all the mods and things I'm using in the description if you want to try them for yourself. Alright, give me all the wood. We might have to go slay a sheep soon. Which, you know, I don't think they're going to appreciate it. Or maybe not. Uh, we'll just create a crafting table first, I think. Uh, where the hell's our wood? We should be able to create one there. What the hell have I done? Wait. I am such an idiot. This and this is why I need <laughs> this tool. Because I suck at remembering how to uh, craft things, really. So we got this, place our crafting table down, see what we can make, we'll make ourselves uh, a pickaxe or something like that. Um, we need some sticks first, would be the smart thing to do. Again, this is this is why I make the uh, user mod, because I suck at remembering. Well, we'll just give ourselves, not a, why am I making a pickaxe? Is that thing growling at me? We should be making an axe, if anything. And since that thing is growling at me, we should uh, probably make ourselves a sword or something. Hey, you fuck off, please. I don't want any trouble at all. Alright, so we'll, what we'll do with the rest of this wood... What? What the hell? Okay, I didn't realise it was going to be dangerous. Is we might just build a quick... Uh, I probably fucked that up. A quick little humble home with the wood we've got just for our for god damn it just for our first night it doesn't have to be anything fancy just a basis to get us by uh, that can be I guess the doorway there since I really didn't think about it when I was making it all right what the hell and I've gone and fucked it up already this is how this is how much of a genius I am so we've got our axe we can use that as well we'll just take out some of this wood and uh, expand the house out a little bit. We can always move the crafting table if we want. So we'll be on the edge. At least we got some water. We got sheep. We got a nice little hut. We can put that there. Get up on top and build a house. This should probably, you know, I probably could have made a much smaller house for uh, what we have. Oh, that, did that, that just fall out of nowhere. A much smaller house for our supplies, but I figured why the hell not make something. It isn't complete shit to start with. Uh, we'll have to go up one more block, won't we? To make our doorway big enough. Yep, so that's alright. And I failed. There we go. 
That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to jump up and place a corner block. And I'm failing again. What are you failing for? I didn't even have to jump for that one. There we go. Alright, we'll just have to build a roof. I might definitely have to get some more wood too to finish off our building. Because uh, this isn't going to yield much. I mean, 16. We can we can deal with 16, I think. Shut up, you. Boom. And I failed again. <laughs> this is going great. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to jump up. Alright, that thing is getting louder. And I'm getting sick of it and its attitude. You. Where the hell are you? Shut up. Alright, so we're going to go get some wood now that we got our axe. We should be able to play out. Look, it's a butterfly. Hello, butterfly. Flying in the ground. We should be able to get our um, wood a bit quicker now that we have an axe. Which is always nice. I'm sure we can survive one day without some food. But we got pigs and stuff over there. Great. We got food. Like I said, I would have preferred a jungle biome, but this is good. Is that a mountain goat? Hello, mountain goat. Ah! And something's dying over there. Something's getting attacked, I think. Okay. So it not only adds a ton of, you know... Like I said, it adds a heap of new monsters, and some are hostile, as you've seen. I think those saber tooth tiger thingies are hostile. Uh, we'll just clear these trees around our base, because I think we're going to probably expand it out later. If we don't find a nice jungle biome close by that we can go to, we can always just expand out. And here we go. Boop. Thank you. So, we'll get as much wood as we can from these. Well, we got plenty. We have plenty. Uh, okay, get out of my way, tree. Coming through. Coming through. Alright. So we're going to finish off building our beautiful home. Our beautiful home, I said. Alright, we definitely need, like, a door on this thing. See if I can remember how to make a fucking door. There we go. I remembered. I'm really pleasantly surprised by myself there. Oh, shit. I can't make it, can I? Alright, door. God damn it. Uh, damn. I need to destroy these blocks. Well, we can make our... <laughs> I, I don't know what I've done. I ain't no arc Minecraft architect. Uh, that'll do for now. Um, we'll move our crafting table over a little bit. Uh, we'll put it in the corner. Nice and safe. We can finish building our roof. Uh, then we'll get some torches up, I think. Because we don't want to be... Caught in the dark at night time with creepers and stuff around. So, what are you doing? Oh, that's a block I put down to help myself. Oh, he's right outside and he is not happy with me. You just piss off, buddy. Oh, we need some, uh, well, I might have to go kill it. Hey, hey, get out of here, you. You better die. Oh, shit, this thing's gonna kill me. Oh. Never mind. Holy crap, I got a big cat claw, though. Uh, what we will be needing to make, though, and it is starting to get dark, so we'll hurry, is most likely need to make... What have I done? Uh, not a, a pickaxe. And yes, we will need to make a shovel, because we are going to need to dig down and probably get ourselves some ore. And I'm going to do it very close to my home. So that if... Oh, look, they're fighting over there. If we get into trouble, I can get out of here quickly. We'll just dig down and we'll try to get some iron ore. Is that... Will that thing change colours? No. Okay, so hopefully we can find some... Oh, not awesome. There we go, gravel stone. That's what I was after. So we can quickly get some... Gravel. Some cobblestone, whatever the hell it's called, I cannot remember already, that's how bad I am, hopefully we don't die in night one, that'd be pretty embarrassing, so we can make ourselves a furnace and cook some things, alright, so, let's see what we got here, yep, that's more than enough, we can get back up to our house and get to safety, well, as much safety as we can have, and then we will build ourselves a magical, and I'm an idiot again, and it, this is again why I say I need a recipe book, so we can build ourselves a furnace, and there we go, we have a furnace now, and put that over there, 
And then we can cook up some wood. And wait, we need raw wood, don't we? Damn it, on a brick. We need raw wood. And I don't have any. Okay. Well, we might go venture out really quickly and just grab some raw wood so we can cook that and make some charcoal and make some torches to keep us safe. Alright, raw wood, you come my way. Because you know that those creepers are going to be out at night. Alright. Raw wood. Cook raw wood. There we go. And we'll make some coal. And make some torches. And we can do all those wonderful things while we're waiting. Uh, we can probably make a stone sword for ourselves. Something a little bit better than what we've got. Thank you, charcoal. Well, it's not really much. Thank you anyway, and that's not going to be enough, is it? Oh, damn it. Okay, and um, we need some sticks, so we can make some sticks. And get ourselves, uh, well, at least one torch. Oh, well, well, no, you'll make four torches. Um, excuse me, sticks. That's a bad habit I have, too, of just, like, throwing them on the ground. So then we got our sticks. Stick, stick, sticks. And we can light our humble little abode up for now. And I think in the morning, in the morrow, we can head out and probably get ourselves some, uh, what am I building? A chest? What was I trying to build? God damn it. <laughs> this is what I was talking about. And this is where this comes in really handy. And we'll look at this while we've got time. So yeah, pretty much if you fail like me and you have the world's worst memory, you can go, oh, a chest, how do I make a chest? And then you go, oh, you've got to place them all around. So then I know that, you know, I can make myself a pretty chest so we can make a chest and we can start storing items already because as I said I have a terrible fucking memory and this helps me out a lot helps me know what I'm doing so then boom we got a double chest where's that dirt I hate dirt we can start storing some stuff in here we may as well keep that on us since we're gonna need it we'll put some torches down there uh, well yeah so now we can store some stuff in here we don't have to carry as much shit around with us. We can go in the morrow and get ourselves some food. I might just venture out again really quick. There was something I was going to make. Oh, I need to get some more wood. So, what's that? Some more wood with some more charcoal. Some more charcoal to make more torches and more torches to keep us safe at night. So we can do that. Alright, seems safe out here at the moment. I don't hear anything. I don't hear any creepers. I don't see anything. So hopefully we're alright. Looks like there may be a settlement over there. Um, looks like I can see light. So that could be our first settlement that we might go visit. There is a button that I do not remember right now that you can press to find new settlements. It tells you where the closest settlement is. So once I remember that button, we'll be able to check it out and head over, find a settlement, do all of that stuff. It will be fun. Okay. Ha! Let me get up on this ledge. No, we're not going to be able to reach that. Is that an enderman? What the hell is that thing? That's like a werewolf. Alright, back in. Back in the house. That looks like a werewolf. Okay, so now we can burn some more wood. Get up. I just said... Yeah, there we go. That's working. Good. Burn ourselves some more wood. Get ourselves some more torches. Uh, will some more charcoal to fuel that fire a little bit better. Uh, we'll probably also need to make a new axe. We can start expanding our house out too um, soon as well. So what do we need for an axe? We need that. And uh, we've got an axe. We could get some more uh, sticks by doing that. So we got some more sticks and a new axe. I think we'll probably get some more cobblestone as well, and we can make some more. Uh, what was I thinking? What can we make with some more cobblestone? I'm just going to use these ones for torches. Got 12, 14 torches should be... And I threw my sticks away again. Something I always do. 14 torches should be enough for now. And that stuff's cooking up. It's almost daytime. It's the sun arising. And there's something over there. On that roof. Okay. Looks like a skeleton or a zombie or something like that. Um, so why have I got another sapling? Get out of here, sapling. You go over there. All right. What are we, we cooked up enough yet? Okay. Uh, I'm going to use the last of these sticks that I've got on me to get some more torches. So we have 22 torches. That should be enough for now. And I did it again. Threw my items down again because I always forget to take them out of the crafting area. And eventually we can just build down and 
we'll make a mine eventually, I think. Uh, I mean, that could be a good space. Just go down and we can have a look down there and make a mine. What is that? Oh, wolves. Those are wolves. And what are you? Oh, that's a damn butterfly, won't it? Or has it turned into a beautiful moth now? Okay, so we got some charcoal there. We can put the charcoal in. My hunger's starting... Where did that other sapling come from? My hunger's starting to creep up on me. Can we do anything with the big cat claw? I really don't know. Well, we can have a look in the items, can't we? The big cat claw. Probably not. It's probably just used... What are these? Spawn Komodo Dragon. Oh, okay. So that's for the Mo Creatures mod you, to spawn creatures if you want to have a look at them. Big Cat Claw. Doesn't look like we can make anything out of it. Nope. So it's pretty much one of those useless items that they just put in there. Which is awesome. Alright, so... Oh, I can hear a Skelly Archer. You bastardo. Leave me be. Okay, so we might craft ourselves. Uh, since... Actually, since we are going to go adventuring a little bit tomorrow, in the new day, might craft ourselves 20 of those and make some more equipment just so we are stocked. I'll make at least two of each item. Uh, maybe another axe since we are running low on that one. And that way tomorrow when we go adventuring, we do not run out of items we don't get there and then realize oh shit we have no items to uh help us out here so since we're going to do a little bit of mining i may as well make three pickaxes just to get ourselves prepared there we go and may as well make no screw the sword because we're going to get stone stuff pretty quickly uh, i think that's what we should do first we should grab some stone items really fast maybe go kill a sheep or so expand our house out a little bit so we can get some a bed in here so we can sleep so we don't have to wait out the night like we are doing right now it's a dark cold world out there with a skelly man hanging around my house all right you can go away bro what the hell was that okay go away skelly archer and whatever the hell that thing is making noise out there it's scaring me God damn it, that first night is always the creepiest when you, you're underprepared, you don't have the items, there's a moth coming into your doorway. Just get out of here, moth. No one wants you around. Well, since all we are doing is waiting for the night to end, I might end this first part here. If you are excited for this series and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smack the thumbs up button. Come back to check out the next part where we continue our adventures, and I'll see you for whatever I make next. Bye. <laughs>
even ants that steal your food if you drop food on the ground. Um, so it's just going to breathe a whole lot of life into the game. And that's really what we're going with with the mods we're going to add for this first kind of series that we're doing. So the next mod that we're going to be using is Millionaire. And the Millionaire mod basically adds a whole bunch of new settlements and NPC. So in normal Minecraft, you generally will come across like the one type of settlement. And this are going to taking him down. So the first mod that we're going to be using today is Biomes are Plenty. So in standard Minecraft, and if you play Minecraft, you know that the different area types are referred to as biomes. And that just describes like, you know, jungle biome, mushroom biome, tundra biome, things like that. And in standard Minecraft, there's 12 different types of biomes. Well, Biomes are Plenty says fuck that and increases the number to 70. So that is a lot of different variation in the world. And so that's basically what we're doing. We're making the world more varied, changing the layout of it a lot, and just making it hopefully a bit more interesting. The second mod that we are going to be using to continue this kind of theme of adding to the basically adds a heap of different settlements and things like that. Most of them are influenced off, well, I think all of them actually might be influenced from different culture types throughout history so you have some that will be influenced by mayan culture and some that might be influenced by japanese culture and things like that you can also get like small quests to do for each of the villages if you come across one and again like i said it's following that theme of just adding more life to the world and um giving putting stuff in the world to make it a, a bit more lively and pretty much you know, have more things to do without distracting us too much. Alright, so we're actually using another mod as well, but I'll show you it once we get in game. Let's start up a new game. 